ether through them. All right, we're getting right into it. Yep. So that's going to be the offstage game is going to be really interesting. That's something I think we need to watch for. But the onstage game, as we know, Ike likes neutral air. Very strong tool for him. Converts into all sorts of things. Gets him tons of damage, tons of KO options. Got him off stage already. We see that. Nurse gets the grab near the ledge and just forward throws, forward throws him to get him off stage. Him. And he's just dead. So I That's wanna, a clean first stock from Nurse. I want to comment on that. Just that stock for a second. Yeah. So Nurse just ran and narrowed. He did it again. Watch yeah. him do it. And he knows that Ikes, they go up, they go down. They go up, they go down. So he's like, you know what? You're going to go up, and I'm going to hit you on the way up. Yeah, definitely. That is an important pattern to recognize with Ike. Ike, you can say all you want about his like super oppressive neutral air. Oh, oh man. my god. But these fireballs are really oppressive too. Look at that. Just as just as I said, those fireballs are so brutal against his recovery because it seems to be clipping him out of the out of the aether at the top. He's also he's it's not just I though it's Ridley, it's like he's making the plays, he's making the calls. He is, yeah. He knows where he's gonna be and he's He's like, hey, I'm the he's calls, there first. The calls are putting him in that offstage position, and then he's taking advantage of that to the best of his ability. This is, this is looking like a really good uh, good character choice for this game one. It's Kale, though, he's got some momentum. He's got him off stage. He needs to figure it out. Oh, he jumps over the side B and down airs him. He doesn't lead to a kill, though. That neutral air is going to get punished. Jumps away, taking advantage of those multiple jumps that Ridley has. Mm -hmm. Picks up his landing enough that he's not getting punished super hard. Oh, he gets him off stage, and that there's the high quick draw to get him over the over the fireball. He's on the board. Yep, he's on the board. Good job from KL. Let's see if he can make this back. And if not, he's got a game two. Has a little bit more awareness possibly of how just how dangerous it is to be off stage against Ridley. Hmm. And maybe that'll affect his decision making. Like we see now, he's consistently quick drawing high. He's not trying to go low at all. And that's going to change the dynamic of how the edge guard goes through the rest of the set. Yeah, and he, the platforms are helping him too. That gives him more options. Also, he's not getting nared as much. Yeah, that helps. That helps too, for sure. The first stalk or two looked like it was really just unfamiliarity from Kale's part. Wasn't really sure how to deal with this Ridley. Well, dash attack on shield, not quite going to get punished for it. Oh, that anti-air eruption, though. That was a that was a little out of left field, but it worked. He's got some momentum. Yep. Dash he's, attack. He's figuring things out. He's chipping away. Like if right now, if I'm Kale and if I lose the stock right now, he's I'd reverse still feel uncomfortable. Him. Yeah, he's at 173. He like not. he gets touched, he's dead. But you know that what? was that was good momentum. If I'm Kale, I'm feeling pretty good going into game two. Nurse right now is not feeling himself as much as he did the first two stocks. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. There was a clear momentum shift throughout that first game. You could see the adaptation. Now, will he be able to carry that in the game, too? Uh, interesting that the final destination is a counter pick. Maybe. So, I, I noted the platforms being significant for the quick draw recoveries, which is why I was, I guess, a little initially surprised. But so final destination also gives you a lot more space, and more space is, like, it makes it harder to get knocked off stage. So one thing, though, I think why Ikes may pick FD mm -hmm. is Ikes go up and down a lot, right? They go up and down, and the platforms don't impede that. Yeah. That is another good point, and I think that's probably why a lot of Ikes like to counter pick it. Even so. though you think, oh, you know, Nair combos, but yeah. Yep. It is a double-edged sword, too, though. Like, Ike does get a lot of ex combo extensions off the platforms as well. Like, mm -hmm. you can Nair onto the ground, then Nair onto a platform above, and then get another, like, high up air to kill really early. So, yeah. unless, uh, I saw on Twitter that Ridley's up smash is invincible, and it's a good option versus uh, a lot of people to jump. Oh, down. yeah. So Let's see if he pulls that up. I just saw Nurse use it twice, and I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that seems that seems really good. Having a, a really good invincible anti-air option of oh, that seems like a lifesaver against Ike. So, Nair, like, Nurse got his shield Nair, like, three times. And yep. He just shielded it, like, every time. Yep. And then, after each time, he's like, all right, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? He was dashing. He was, like, rolling. He was like, all right, what's going to happen? He didn't try and directly contest it. He yeah. Was like, not contesting it. He's now's just, my time to play. He's letting it happen. He's Ooh. waiting for his moments, and he's picking them pretty well. But this, is, this is good now. Yep. Yeah, this this match, Ooh. this beginning of this game looks a lot more competitive than the beginning of the first one. He's actually going to lead. Yep. And again, we're seeing we're seeing KL respond to Nurse's Nairs on shield well as well. I like guess they're, they're both, neither of them are extending too far when the other person hits their shield. Although we are seeing a, a few like antsy so, aerials at a shield here. I was talking about Nurse a lot, but I want to talk about uh, Kale for a second. Mm -hmm. His one adjustment I noticed he's made is uh, he's actually spaced his Nairs uh, not on top of Ridley, but rather uh, he's trying to anticipate the the dash-ins. Mm -hmm. So he's doing his Nairs uh, a lot farther away horizontally. Yeah. And it's 
it looks like it's a lot tougher for a nurse to deal with. Yeah, because if you if you nair into someone's shield, a lot of the time they can punish it. Listen, we've seen that a few times with with nurse, but the the intelligent placement of neutral air, like mi mixing up where you're going to place them and making sure that the ones on shield are like spaced well enough that they're not going to get punished with like a nair to shield for free mm -hmm. or something, really important. All right, but now he has, at the end of the stage, you can't really uh, do that as much, and nurse caught him for it. Yeah. Definitely. Kale, though, he has a big lead now. He's looking good. But that, that command grab is going to give Nurse all the stage control he needs. With forward smash, though, going to cost him. He's at 85% and he needs to make something happen. Up smash, smash though, yeah, that's the, that's the right. anti-air you were talking Making about. Making me look good. Yeah. Big D the Prophet. Hey, Big D. All right, spacing around these neutral airs. Both just jumping around each other, but Nurse with a good nair call out there, jumping out where Kale's going to be. How's Nurse get off this ledge? And oh, he does yeah. It. He catches the neutral get up with the neutral air. That's, and that, one, that's one thing about Ridley. Yep. Is he's big. He's very big. He does a lot of damage. He's very quick, but he's actually light. He is light, yeah. And he gets hit hard. Yeah. That seems really rough to deal with against Ike because you're that really big target, but you die. You still die relatively early to those brutal neutral air to up air combos. It's a really good adjustment from KL. I'm, I'm yeah, impressed. he's looking really good. Ooh, Richter. Now this is the character that, like I know Nurse for. Yeah. Not Piranha Plant. Yeah, not Piranha Plant. Not, not Ridley. This is like the one that like all right, I've I've seen him take names. Yep. His Richter's solid for sure. We'll see what Kale can do about it. Totally different style. Yeah. Yeah, different style. Lots of zoning, obviously. Lots of projectiles. A different kind of ledge trapping that Kale has to work around. Because we saw that the edge guarding was really. That's really what got Nurse the first game, right? Maybe he's trying to get him in a put another type of edge guarding slash ledge trapping that's gonna keep KL cornered for the whole time and make him like figure out how to adapt to it. Cause it's gonna take some time to figure that out if he doesn't have too much experience against Richter. And we can see so far Nurse is doing a lot of damage to KL. He's got him at 118 already. A lot of it from the projectiles catches the landing with the with the side B or the forward tilt axe to cover the quick draw. He's looking good. Looking really good. Now he has to quick draw. Gets around the axe, but neutral get up right into the forward tilt, and that's that's the first stock. Really good for Nurse. He's looking strong. He is looking really strong. Let's see if the adaptation that KL makes can be faster than the one he made in game one. Because he really needs that right now. He needs it. Yeah. Trade the forward tilt for the projectiles. It's probably not worth it at this point. So like Ike makes your life miserable vertically. Yeah. He Richard does. makes your life miserable horizontally. Thank yeah. You. And we're seeing Kale. He's trying to land and he's trying to like drift into I feel like he's drifting into Nurse a little bit too aggressively. He's trying to get like approach him and get in on him, but he's holding in and Nurse is just putting projectiles and hitboxes where where he's drifting into. You really gotta move yourself uh, You have to be really careful about that. Yeah. Ooh, yep. But good conversion, you got the holy water and yep. the, the force smash. Yep, and that's that's a full stock lead for Nurse now. Kale jumping in with these neutral airs, trying to make something happen. I've seen him miss neutral air grab like five times at least. Yeah. I think he's got to go for that up tilt. Yep. Yeah, he's playing really aggressively right now. He's swinging his, his giant sword a lot. Ooh, tries to catch a jump with the, that was the a axe. Good, I, I like that quick draw to the platform, that was good. Good escape option. You know, with these DLC or these new characters, I gotta good, really good jump read from Nurse. Ooh. Oh, footstool! That's a footstool. He was trying good escape some. option. That's some Captain L crap. Kale still swinging. I mean, Nurse stuff. still waiting. That's it. Oh yeah, that's oh, not no. quite death, but Ooh, good edge guard. Clipped by the axe. Yeah, really good use of the neutral bees here from, from Nurse. That lingering hitbox like kind of falls at roughly the same weight rate that Ike does with the quick draw, so it's a really good option for catching the quick draws. Oh, up he had a shield. Very nice. And he has to jump. He falls into the holy water. Nurse looking strong. Yeah. This is Kale needs a miracle. It starts with a nair conversion, but that one's not. It starts with attitude, yet. Jake. It starts with the attitude and then finishes with the nair conversion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the axe! That's it. And Nurse, nurse, will take it. nurse with his bag of tricks gives Kale another test that he can't pass.